Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in. It is August 22nd, 2019, about 3.02 p.m. West Coast time. And got a, uh, well, fairly moderate-sized earthquake coming into the uh, Southern California region. Now, this is in the area of where we've seen uh, those large uh, sequences of quakes back in early July. Of course, followed up by tens and thousands of, uh, tens of thousands of aftershocks. Uh, this is a 5.0 earthquake striking uh, right around the Ridgecrest area. Um, let me take you over here to this other map and give you a little bit better perspective here of the exact details of where this earthquake took place. You can see the large blue square uh, indicating that it just took place here uh, within the last day, but technically within the last couple hours here uh, is when we've seen this earthquake strike. We'll go down this list right here and you can see 5.0 right here 18 kilometers east of little lake california now they're just calling it little lake within the region there uh, 5.0 the depth of this earthquake 1.5 miles so fairly shallow no doubt quite a few folks going to be able to feel that uh that uh moderate size quake there let's go over here and take a look at the um the shake map and intensity region here There we go. I've got to find the right one here. Okay, so 5.0. I uh, can see quite a few people felt it still within the uh, Ridgecrest area. I like to call it within the Ridgecrest area because that's uh, pretty much the most uh, common town that uh, folks um, tend to match it with when it comes to the earthquake activity um, in Southern California since July. No, since July 4th when we've seen that. Uh, uh, two large earthquakes there, one on the uh, the fourth and also one on the fifth there, the larger one. But anyway, Ridgecrest, California right here, 180 responses, uh, probably quite a few more people felt it than that, uh, but uh, definitely a, a sizable, sizable amount of folks there reporting in, um, 180 people. The, uh, let's see here, is that what I wanted? Intensity, I guess 5.0 is really not gonna be a major shaker most folks reporting uh well unless you're pretty much right around the epicenter area it's going to be uh, roughly around moderate to light shaking with very light damage uh if any looks like a couple people uh may have reported strong shaking there um you can see the yellow square there indicating some stronger uh, shaking within that area like i said all it's all got to do with perspective and uh, also how sensitive you are and uh, what type of uh, structure you may be in uh, when it comes to uh, feeling how this earthquake um, you know shook up a little bit how how, how it uh, felt anyway so uh, other than that we're looking at pretty much just the same area folks of where the uh, uh, those two earthquakes took place back in early early July and also right in between the areas of uh, north and southward uh, movement along this fault system here. Now, I will go ahead and open up, uh, let's see, is it gonna be this one or this one? Let's see here. Well, let's go back over here to this one. Maybe this is it. Uh, okay, it's been a while, folks, since I've been on here. I apologize about that. Like I say, I get caught up on stuff, I get busy. Uh, you know, a whole bunch of life-changing events at the moment that I'm trying to catch up with. Uh, so, yeah, we're just rolling with it. Rolling with the uh, life. So I believe we're in the Little Lake Fault Zone area is what I'm guessing. Let me see if I can find... i just seen an airport fault. Airport Lake Fault Zone. So that's going to be a couple of these structures up here. you got Little Lake over here, that town. Um, Little Lake Fault Zone is right over there. So it looks as though... Uh, it looks like it looks as though they've added quite a few um, faults in here um, compared to the last time I looked at it. It just didn't uh, look as uh, didn't look as like there was that many fault systems in there. So I'm thinking they may have added quite a few uh, new ones in there. Anyway, Ridgecrest down here to the south, about 10, 15 miles, according to scale. 
Um, of course, there is still earthquake activity. This is only the 2.5 and above. I can take this down to one day all magnitudes here and you can get a little bit better perspective of the continuance of earthquakes that are taking place out here in Southern California. Uh, once again, just one day all magnitudes uh, and we're looking at a pretty significant amount of earthquakes on here still 301 earthquakes just today uh, now it's been almost two months now since we've had the uh, large earthquakes there in southern california uh, well, along july 4th area time frame and like i said there's been thousands thousands tens of thousands i wouldn't doubt it if we've we've come close to a hundred thousand earthquakes um, in that time frame i haven't got together a a, uh, a total number but I will try to do that here um, soon <laughs> if I can uh, but yeah I'm definitely uh, yeah, and it may be over a hundred thousand who knows but there's definitely been quite a bit I'm thinking that was over a hundred thousand but uh, anyway folks red circles indicating most recent earthquake activity um, right around that 5.0 earthquake you're gonna see some adjustment and whatnot um, following a moderate quake like that but still you know, just one day magnitude, you can see the continuance of quakes out here in this uh, in this zone. Uh, and of course, the San Andreas Fault System, this dark red line sitting over here to the west, roughly about, uh, what do we say it was, about 30, 60, 75 miles or so to the west, southwest region there, that dark red line, the San Andreas Fault Zone there. Um, and of course, you got this other fault system that runs kind of west to east, which is kind of... Uh, I can't remember what they called that quake. The Garlock, is it the Garlock Fault? I just seen it pop up there, I believe it is. Uh, anyway, this thing's kind of touchy here on the computer. But yeah, the Garlock Fault, Garlock Fault System, not the Garlock. Uh, they're running kind of east to west, or west to east, however you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, but anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I may start the stream back up here in a little bit and uh, maybe key up the webcam in the uh, Tehachapi region again. I know there's quite a few folks there that like to watch the, uh, the train museum depot down there uh, with all the trains running through there uh, in that region with the uh, with the webcam. Tehachapi sits just down here to the southwest about, uh, well, a lot closer to the San Andreas Fault Zone here. So we're looking at probably 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 miles or so. Looks like a little earthquake taking place down there, 1.3, uh, but still, uh, in, a, in an area we want to keep an eye on, no doubt, with the uh, monsters sleeping down here. The southern part of the San Andreas Fault System uh, sleeping for for quite some time, so uh, hopefully he will continue to sleep. Take a look at Yellowstone earthquake activity. Relatively quiet, folks. We haven't seen any kind of new activity at all. Um, some small quakeage, <laughs> quakeage, if that's a word, being picked up in that area. And other parts of California looking relatively quiet. Um, some earthquake activity over here to the west towards Los Angeles region. Nothing big, nothing major. A small earthquake occurring right there on the San Andreas Fault System there, 2.0, at a depth of about 7.3 miles. Uh, Taking a look at the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. I'm sure this is still going on. Yep, just today. We're still seeing quite a bit of movement there, folks, up there in the Puget Sound region there of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone there west of Seattle. Now this thing takes place every 12 to 14, uh, what, 12 to 14 months, I believe. Uh, we start seeing uh, slippage in a way. I guess it kind of reverses. It bounces back and forth there in that region. I may do an update on this. Uh, a lot of people aren't too aware of what that whole thing is all about. Um, but if I do, I will cover that a little bit later on. But yeah, no doubt uh, a lot of Trimmer being detected, not earthquakes, but trimmer, which is slow slippage up there between the uh, the plates, and uh, like I said, quite a bit, 402 of them today. Uh, in the meantime, folks, we'll go ahead and get back uh, to uh, getting this getting this video uploaded here to YouTube, and I will probably fire up the earthquake 3D stream and add um, the train depot in the mix there i know a lot of people like to watch that so including me it's kind of it's kind of cool i just got to get the train volume adjusted properly so in the meantime folks stay safe out there stay cool if you're out here in the heat like i am 100 degrees out here in california 
and uh, no cool down expected anytime soon. So stay safe. We'll chat you folks a little bit later. Peace.